A lot of young guys that are uh, that are doing really well, actually. Uh, you know, I think Willie Willie's doing a really good job at safety. Uh, Jordan Clark's doing a phenomenal job at corner. And you know, me and Kobe are just leading the helm. So I feel like like the show the, the stress is on us, me and Kobe, because we got to show these young guys. You know, because Kobe's a senior and I have another year, so trying to get him ready for the next season and just try to try to get him ready for this season. Because like Herm says, you know, freshmen are going to play, so. I'm excited to see what it was. I'm excited to see the process, man. I really am. Has it been you and Kobe starting at corner though for three years? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so yes, ma that's that's a pretty special dynamic then to have him kind of back there and uh, another leader along with you. Oh, of course, no. And, and and the thing about it is, um, Kobe's been playing cornerback longer than me, so you know I look up to him like he's my big brother, like he's my mentor. So um, anything that he does, I look on tape, and you know I try to try to mimic the same thing he does. So I don't think he knows because everybody sees me as a hometown hero and everything like that, but I tell him every day, you know, he's great. He's doing a phenomenal job, and I, I look up to him. So I love my boy, man, for real. He, we, they're talking about us being the only cornerback uh, duo in history to go three years. I'm glad that we got that title because we deserve it. Oh, I didn't realize it was like just at ASU? Yeah, just at ASU. Yep. So. I mean, you got to take pride in that, right? Yeah, but we, we also got, you know, our marathon's not uh, not done yet. So we, we got to finish out this season, and we got to put the numbers up that we've been hoping to put up. And, you know, Coach, like you said, Coach Hearn's been raving about us. So we got to, you know what I mean, we got we to gotta put down and show out. You mentioned in the numbers. Do you, have, do you have numbers set in your head that this is our goal? Oh, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I don't want to say it because, you know what I mean, I don't want to, you know, jinx it or anything like that. But there's a number that's in me and Kobe's head that, that, that we're trying to get to for all of us, though, as, as a DB group, safeties included. So we're just, trying to, we're just trying to work. And every day we come out here, we go against Brandon Ayuk, Frank Darby, best receivers in the country, you know what I mean, to us. And we just, we just do our thing. Uh, do you, go ahead. Well, Chase, you, you guys ramped up uh, more 11-on-11 11 11 today than than has been in fall camp so far. And just mm -hmm. what were your thoughts on the competition level you know, uh, going uh, the, in real time? The competition is always there, always there. Like I said, Frank Darby and, and Brandon Ayuk, they bring it every day. And so I feel like when we, when we get done with film, Everybody straps up and we, we're focused. We're laser focused, and uh, before before practice even starts, you know, we're with Herm. He runs us through the details of what we need to be doing, and then we just say he's just ball out. And what was crazy about it today was, uh, for the past I think two days or two practices, the, the DBs didn't have no picks. So you know, <laughs> Coach Herm walked in and he said, he said, I'm, I'm gonna put a challenge out there. Let, let's get some picks today. You know what I mean? And so Coach White was like, whoever gets a pick gets a get some pizza. <laughs> and so. Uh, uh, Darian Courtney, he had that pick on the sideline, and that's why we went crazy. Cause you know, this the food up here is good, but ain't nothing like Pizza Hut pizza. You know what I mean? So I'm excited, and like I said, we're just ready for the process, man. So what? The entire defense gets pizza? Oh no, ma'am, no, ma'am. Just the corners, just the corners. You know. Uh, but the uh, Herm said he said if this was Pro Bowl, he would have popped out a hundred dollars and gave it to us on the field. So I said, hey, man, compliance is around here. You know what I'm saying? So we can't do that in the NCAA. But, you know, I'm just happy that uh, Herm holds us to a higher standard. You know what I mean? He always tries to get the best out of us. So I can't, you know, I love him for it. I love him for it. Is there any sort of a sense of just, you know, I was talking to some of the coaches yesterday and they were saying, you know, hopefully just being up here lights a little bit of a fire under some of the guys. Do you feel like um, competition's ramped up at all being out here? Or is it just doesn't matter if you're in Tempe or up here? To be honest, with us on the defensive side, it don't matter. You know, we was doing it in Tempe. We were um, just being the best that we can, and but I feel up here it's more of a brother thing, you know, because last year we were close, everybody was close, but we weren't as close as we are now. You know, we do bonfires at night to hear everybody's stories, that let everybody know who they are and stuff like that. So I feel like it's more of like a brother thing. Everybody's just trying to come together, love one another, and just play together. So I love it up here. I, I don't like the living conditions, but I love, you know, being up here with my boys and the coaches and stuff like that. It means a lot. At least you didn't get sick on the first day. Oh, Lord, yeah. I was, hey, I was popping antibiotics like a mug, man. I was not getting it, man. No, no, no. Got a lot to prove this year, so not trying to get sick. But we, we supposed to be getting TY back uh, tomorrow, so now we're excited. We're excited. Yeah, Thanks, man. of course. Thanks, Definitely.